Let's give this part of the story justice. Lisa Ray had a very interesting story about how she became first lady of Turks and Caicos. He shut down the restaurant for you. I said, oh, well, he should. He walked me to my room. He didn't try to come in my room. He didn't try to kiss me. He didn't try to get a free hug or fill up on me, none of that. He was a perfect gentleman. And he said, I hope that you will come to Turks and Caicos. You're awfully close. I will come back and get you. You know, when you when you want someone that bad and you want to pursue them and you want to, you know, show them that you got the juice, you, you do what you got to do. So I think he rolled out all the stops to make sure he let her know. And that's what she was used to from her dad right. and from everybody. So he was doing what she was accustomed to and what she was expecting in, you know, her mate. Yeah, she did um, express the fact that she's been spoiled Absolutely. all her life. So that's what, that's a requirement, it seems. Absolutely. Cha-ching! And I was like, I already like this man. I already promised to come back. And he's the president. What more can a girl ask for? So I got on the plane and he kissed me and closed the door. And he was on my mind the entire time that I went back to LA. Came back Thursday with my mother, my aunt, my daughter, and my little cousin. Had another fantastic time from that point. We were dating. A month later, he asked me to marry him. I think the thing that impacted their relationship most was probably the people outside the marriage jumping into the marriage. Oh, speaking of jumping <laughs> inside of someone's marriage, that brings us to um, Dwayne Martin. Somehow within that relationship, I lost my husband to Dwayne Martin, and they became better friends than what me and my husband did, and I couldn't understand that for the love of God. I think that impacted her the most because it was somebody she looked at as like a brother and a friend. And so from her standpoint, her brother and her friend was introduced to her husband, who she's right. fighting for, you know, in this relationship and this marriage to other women. So she's already having a tough time as it is. And then your friend, your brother is bringing women to your man. You know, that's that's got to be tough. You know what I mean? That is super tough. Then you step to him and ask him to stop, and <laughs> he just go continue with the yeah yeah with the antics. Yeah yeah. I mean, Dwayne Dwayne's gonna watch this episode and probably feel away because she definitely let him know, you know, how she felt about that. Mm -hmm. But I, I think at the end of the day, she's she's not wrong for that, you know. She's I, definitely not wrong, but he was wrong because he was a married man at that time. With Dwayne Martin, once he crossed that line with Lisa Ray, she was she was done with him, and you know, she let you know her sentiments um, as well. It started with a F word. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Started with an F and with a U. <laughs> I introduced you to him. What are you doing? I'm still kind of confused about that one. So needless to say. Me and Dwayne don't with each other at all. him. Jay, I think that Lisa Ray is so iconic to our culture. A big reason is because of Players Club. No, absolutely. A lot of people watched Players Club and they, they thought that Lisa Ray was playing a character, but that was, that was in essence a version of Lisa Ray. And mm -hmm. so I think what makes her special and what makes people gravitate towards her is that she just has that that like this is this is my homie and this is somebody that don't take no mess off of nobody. Oh no, she does not take no mess, and she demands respect. Absolutely, you have to respect her all white that she wears, you do. and you, you do. have to respect her name, Lisa, Lisa Ray. Ray. I met Taraji at an HBO party, and I really, really started liking her. I didn't know how to tell her that I was falling in love with another woman named Chloe Kardashian. Lamar Odom on an all new Uncensored next Sunday at 9 on TV One. All right, my bad. I didn't know what to say. <laughs> but oh, she's about to throw it to me. Oh, yeah. See you next week. <laughs> <laughs>